hey what is up everyone welcome back to another video on ethical hacking in this video as discussed we'll look at a practical example of using proxy chains so the first thing we need to do in order to open the proxy chains configuration file we need to open up the terminal and in the terminal i do have to write nano slash etc slash proxy and if you press tab proxy chains dot conf once the configuration file gets opened we did discuss in our previous video that what is what are all of these things but in this video I'll not go into the details of everything but let's just only understand what is dynamic chain well the dynamic chain is the type of proxy chains in which at least one of the proxy must be active for, uh, in, order to, uh, in order for the connection to work. Uh, if at least one proxy is active, the connection will work. If, if more than one is active, still it will work, but at least one should be active. So in my case, I will uncomment the dynamic chain and then comment down the strict chain. What is strict chain? Well, in strict chain, all of the proxies must be active or online in order for the connection to work. So if, if one proxy is down, the connection would restart or it would uh, just disconnect. And in the random chain, it will just use one random proxy. Uh, in most of the cases, it will use your, your own IP. So the random chain is basically useless but it's there if you are willing to use it now coming towards proxy dns well proxy dns is used to avoid leaking your dns data or dns it, it just basically avoids the dns leaks so if you are using the proxy dns it will not leak your dns if you come in down this line uh, and and you have proxy chains active still uh, your DNS would leak the data and if you are accessing suppose youtube.com the YouTube would still know that you are uh, using that you, where you are and you are using proxy chain to manipulate your IP uh, now coming more downwards towards these line if you are willing to use SOX5 or SOX4 uh, we just need to write SOX5 or SOX4 whatever you want to use and then the next thing is your IP. So uh, you can use any IP uh, or any port uh, that's active on your uh, device. But in my case, we'll use the basic, which is 127.0.0.1. And then you can use the, uh, the, the, the port number. And this is the port number. You can use any port number. And uh, then this thing is when whenever you purchase a proxy like a paid proxy they will provide you username and password in most of the cases so then after the port number if you do have the username and password you can write if you don't have and you are using a free proxy you can just leave it so these the this is the username and this is the password these are completely optional you just have to write SOX5 then the IP and then the port number uh, then your proxy will work. So in my case, we'll use the SOX5 and then press tab and we'll use 127.0.0.1 and then 9050 port number. And I will press Control X and then Y to save the changes and then press Enter. Once the changes get saved, I will write service Tor status in order to check the status of Tor and in my case it's running but in your case if it's if it's not running you can just write start sorry it's service Tor start and it will basically run the Tor once the Tor is running if uh, if it at this stage you get an error that means you don't have the tor installed so what you can do is you can install tor by writing app dash get 
install tour and it will basically install the tour on your system and once you install that you can just write then services tour start and that's it if still it gives you uh, it gives you an error then you can update by writing apt get update and once you run this you can then run apt dash get install tour so I have already installed and the tour services is running so I can write proxy change Firefox uh, and I'm indicating the proxy change to use Firefox if I press enter it will work without any domain and indeed you have to spell fire right once you spell the fire right it will open up the, uh, the Firefox browser and there you can type in whatever you want and where, wherever you want to go uh, so that will be through the proxy chains here you go you can see that it's using the proxy chains and it's opening up the Firefox and here we are on our Firefox using proxy chains so if you search anything suppose it's it's bringing up the Kali official page but if I search duck duck go and then in the duck duck go I write DNS leaks and open up this DNS leaks test page uh, it, it would depend on your internet speed like if you're using proxy chains your internet would be a bit slower than the normal but because it's using a lot of different proxy servers and uh, it's, it's routing you through that through that line so indeed you will feel uh, a bit slowness in your internet but it will work so in my case it's showing me that I am in Germany which indeed I'm not I'm basically in Pakistan but it's showing me the, the IP of Germany and if I start a standard test which is really good uh, so that means that the proxy chains is active and it's working from this DNS leak test you can see that we are not leaking any DNS and everything is perfectly fine so that is pretty much it for the proxy chains uh, th this is how you can use the proxy chains for uh, this is how you can configure the proxy chains and this is how you can uh, use it uh, for anonymizing yourself on the internet so once more nano proxy chains sorry it's slash etc slash proxy chains dot c o n f and once again you can use dynamic chains you can use strict chains you can use random chain and and the proxy DNS is for not leaking the DNS uh, the dynamic chain is used f uh, the dynamic chain work works if only at, uh, if at least one proxy is active and the random chain works in the case of all of the proxies must be active and in random chain it will pick up one random proxy in most cases it picks up your personal IP so it's not recommended but anyway this is how you can use the SOX5 uh, SOX5 proxy uh, SOX5 proxy chains uh, and if you do have a paid proxy you can just write your username and password after a tap so that is pretty much it for this video it was a short one indeed but I wanted to show you the practical example of how to configure your proxy chains and how you can use it at this point wherever I go on the internet I'm using proxy chains and I'm anonymous so nobody can track me they can just track the proxy server until and unless the proxy chain or the proxy servers provide my data I'm anonymous so that is pretty much it for this video indeed I will see you in the next time so until next time enjoy hacking peace